the greatest pound for pound fighter in the what I do. That's what drives me. I believe in me. I believe in me. Later, six minutes. When some guys ask me, do you think they I don't think of myself as invincible. Here's a chance to fight for the... It's going to be a great fight. It will be a huge fight. But in my opinion... Nate Marquardt that Nate was penalized fight. Talis Latis, middleweight champion. What you just talked about was 62%. The lowest hit rate since he first ended fights, nearly 70%. The average of an MMA fighter. It is a privilege to watch this man fight. No it really is. I mean, it, and I is a martial artist. He is not just a fighter. He truly. He's not a. Andre Galval, Jacques Array. And, and the thing about Anderson Silva, that to me, very similar to George St. Pierre. That's. One of the biggest names, you were defeated. And it is that attitude that all the greats share, Georgia. As the level gets higher and higher of athletes, the, the truly greater getting back to the true martial artist. Look. 34 years old. Seven years the elder of the fellow Brazilians. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ground for fighters as this is the Athletic Commission. With Commissioner Richard Renault, our three gins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Levine. Fans around the world have been waiting for. It's the Middleweight Championship. Of Only a professional record of 14 wins with one loss. He stands Dallas. Out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professor, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, middleweight champion of the world, Silva! Brazilians about to battle here at Bell Center. Here we go! The yellow and black for the spider. Blue and white for Lip at 80% accuracy. Demez is coming at him. You know, I'm watching the countdown for. Looking to tie the record of. And oh! In the UFC is Anderson's all the way back in 2006. Patrick to attack, and when Patrick didn't, and Patrick was defensive, it's differently now. I wonder if he's going to be a little bit more aggressive than he would normally be. Partners. He was so disappointed in the whole, the booing and the stuff that you just, and Anderson Silva knew that coming in. Yeah, Patrick has got a, an iron chance. His home province of Quebec doing the commentary for the French Network. Well, and Silva, when he starts rocking those shoulders a little bit and stuff. 
He get over anxious, Anderson Silva. If, if he was so upset that he wound up, I mean, he doesn't nope. like to have a bad performance. So if he feels that people aren't aren't a pre -kick. now they're getting into it. Latest definitely feels 27 years old, 14 and one overall on the ground before by Travis Luter. Travis Luter had a mountain at all in that in that first round against Henderson, but Henderson did win the round by taking Curry, though in the fight, even though it wasn't a title fight, Joe. Oh, nicely done. Exactly what he was looking to do. Skills, like you said. But the distinct advantage in which Charles he has. Pulls half guard. He ate one there. Yeah, but he's still got the leg. And he's got him down. This is where he wants to be. He wants to be. The fact that he's got a clinch. The fact that he's fighting for the take. Round two. The body of Talos Latis. The most. Drops Talos to the ground. Talos invites Anderson to join him yeah, down there, of course. They stand up. Don't have a problem, you defend yourself. Come on, Anderson. Put his hand on it. Set for round two. The champion, father passed away when he was just 17 years old. His mother talked to both classy young men. Moves to half guard. Silva has not had a submission attempted against him in over four years. About some serious jiu-jitsu skills. You're talking about Talos. He's a black belt, but a guy who submits black belts in the one of the biggest in the middleweight division very close. Anderson is making excellent use of the locked offense. And he uses that to transition to full guard and now to a body trying on him and keep his posture down. You know, one of the many, they're, they're just unbeatable, they're, they're indestructible. Well, you always got to remember it's the illusion of invincibility yes. that happens when a fighter wins a bunch of fights. And Barilovsky was going to be that guy. Tim Sylvia proved us all wrong. Talos. By Talos Latis. Doing a real good job of staying on top, but Anderson's avoiding death. Watch for the upkick. Yep. Yo, get up. And that's huge. Joe, and you've said many times, everybody has the most complete mixed martial artist in the world today. Well, it also gives all strikes, including those vicious kicks. It's a five-round fight as well, Absolutely. so he has time to wear Talos Latis down. And well, both the, these guys are pacing themselves as well. And, and, you know, a big thing, too, he's only gone past the second round once in his UFC career, and that was against... ...likes to see instant excitement. I mean, you know, they want fast food fighting, and he's a technician. He's not going to risk his own health or his own safety, doing some Final 30 seconds of the round. In. His last real loss, Silva, because one came by the deep. And it should be pointed out that he went into that fight with a broken ankle. He had damning a lot of nice strikes, leg kicks, softened up the leg, and eventually did up. You're good. You gotta go. Now show him what you got, Anderson. In the corner of Talos Latis. Good that takedown. And by Talos. Oh, he got poked, poked in the, in the eye. eye. Yeah, he's saying that he got poked in the eye, but they continue. Opportunity while he's down yeah. to recover, though. Looks like he's okay now, Joe. Lee checking out the eye. But they continue to battle, and Silva might. Talos gets a single. Anderson back to. This is going to become clinical, and it's going to become a beatdown potentially. Please. of Anderson Silva, and justifiably so, put on a show. That was I need somebody to put it on with me. Very interesting how Talos Leitz is one. It's like you said earlier, he cares. He ca Body kick. He's Talos Leitz does have good power in his strikes. Let's see if he looks for a clinch. Setting up that kick. Oh, Side nice. Kick. 
So athletic. So precise. He's unable to get the fight to the ground anymore, Joe. There's a good right hand. Chopping the leg. Just waiting. Talis looks very... Like how he jumps into that kick, Joe. Lot Gray Anderson. Come on, now you gotta easy down. Ventilate him a little bit. He's gonna put you in a way that he's gonna come down. There's an outstanding fight. Into the championship rounds, Joe. Fourth round. Talis has got to go for broke here, Mike. Mike's. Again with that kick towards the leg, man. That oh, tremendous. And again. I don't think we've seen that before. I mean, the front leg soccer. The one thing we have... <laughs> Doing his Muhammad Ali. That's not Muhammad Ali. That's just having fun. He's just punishing that, Levine says. Right hand connect. 310 remains in round four. Again with that front leg side kick to the knee. A lot of leg kicks. And, and even before those leg kicks, Joe. And the one time where he did take Anderson down, he's not able to. Let's go, guys. Two and a half remains. He just punched him in the leg. <laughs> He's trying to take that leg out. Absolutely. Eight a jab. Might not happen again. What it was, but it connected. But one of the more incredible things about Anderson Silva. This is the deepest he's gone into a fight in his MMA career. He shares the record right now with John Fitch and fellow Brazilian UFC. He's tried to punch a guy in the leg from standing before. Uppercut. Under a minute since September 11th of 2004. Again, the spider. Talos Leitzis just does not have anything can happen when you exchange strikes. He knew the way to and standing up, he's not able to do anything so nope. far. Everybody's got that one in a million deep into the fourth and fifth round. <laughs> With his punishment of the lead leg of Talos Leitzis. Incredibly accurate and unusual in that he's throwing a front leg side kick to kick. The torque on the knee, you can see it on the replay. You can't stop. Last round, let's go. Fifth and final round. To finish this round, at the yep. very least, finish it in spectacular fashion. Again goes for a single. And fence tonight by the champion. And now he stays on top. Kick. Yep. He's, he's very confident now. You know what, Joe, you said he might engage. Well, he's, avo uh, he's fighting intelligently. He's avoiding fighter with a top contender. The question. Well, now they're cheering bullshit. Right. He's gonna get criticized. Yeah. A brawl, especially after five or six Canadian beers. <laughs> Under two. Again, shrugged off that takedown. I mean, he's basically just survived. It was one thing. This one is a little bit different, but... He caught that leg. What can Anderson Silva do differently? He doesn't want to do anything different. Right. This is what he wants. Or whether or not you want to put on a spectacular show for the fans and make yourself more... To, to exchange. Well, that, <laughs> you know, that's what we're seeing. Hey. More, and there's not much he can do. Anderson could attack, but if he did... Well, Talis Latis about to go the distance. Even though he took no damage, I still don't think that he's going to be happy. So you think someone being entertaining. I mean, there's no doubt about it. This place is booing. They just saw it. Is it just getting the W? Is it 
impressing the fans. Get the W and move on to the next fight. You know, he did that. They just getting some ground and pound off, but, you know, I mean, he hung in the... Lands it, lands some front leg side kicks to the... He avoided submissions when he was on the ground. He Anderson Silva. The octagon. He has a fight go the distance. And now in his last nine fights, he's locked consecutively. Has the official decision. Hamilton scores at 48 47. And Roussel Bell, the reigning, defending, undisputed fighter, Silva. All right, I'm here with the champion, Anderson. A lot of booze here tonight. Does, does this bother you? And give us your. It's very hard, Thales Leites. This te perturba when they're still vaiando. What's going on here inside? But we have to take care of them. They pay our salary. It's a spectacle for all of you. It's unfortunate sometimes things don't work. Sorry, next time I'll give a better performance. He was frustrated when Talos was unable to take him to the ground and would just lie there on his back. No. O Talos is a great lutador, he comes from the Ardeneiras, he has to be respected, he is a great professor, he is a great lutador, he was a great lutador. We are here to do our work. Infelizmente, não é sempre que a gente pode fazer o que você quer. And uh, you know, it's unfortunate. Sometimes we can't always come out, work out that way. Well, congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you again. Maintains the UFC middleweight belt.